Asante Mungu Raisi Ruto naongea. Thank you very much Ruto. Mtano mzuri for this opportunity. Your Excellency William Ruto, President of Kenya. Your Excellency Azar Usman, President of Comoros and the Chair at the AU. Distinguished Heads of State and Government. Your Excellency Musa Faki from the AU Commission. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to commend the invitation of Your Excellency President Rutu and a warm welcome and the invitation to participate in the African Africa Climate Summit hosted by the Kenyan government, government together with the AU Commission. Your Excellencies, the decision by the African Union General Assembly to host this um, event is in order to have a shared African vision regarding the climate, climate crisis that is affecting the world and mostly Mozambique, uh, uh, Africa. And looking specifically at Mozambique, the country is cyclically ravaged by the impacts of climate change. It's not what I've heard about. This is what we believe. And as of February every year, and even until May, we uh, suffer from the adverse effects of climate change. Since 2019, we have suffered from the uh, cyclones Idai, Dineo, Freddy, amongst others. We had many uh, natural storms and drought. Cyclone Freddy was extraordinary because it took longer time, more than 14 days, and we were affected twice by Cyclone Freddy because first affected us on the coast and then went back and then we, it affected again Mozambique on its pathway to Malawi. We know that such disasters affect negatively populations in Mozambique, not only but in other countries. Your Excellency, your President, uh, the interventions that we've heard were exhaustive. Such statements try to explain what is climate change and what are the impacts of climate change. So I will not be repetitive and I would like to be more objective and straightforward by sharing the experience of Mozambique with regard to climate change prevention, mitigation and adaptation and, and to emphasize the following. First, the conservation areas. 25% of the Mozambican territory is covered by parks, reserves, uh, game parks, including marine protection areas. In this perspective, different actions were endeavored by the Mozambican government together with private partners and local communities in protecting these areas that have led to the reduction of uh, poaching of rhinos, li lions, as well as uh, illegal logging. So why am I referring to cooperation of communities? Because very often we just talk at a high level, but those that are living those realities with the nature is communities. So they have to be uh, collaborating with us in order to protect what are their livelihoods. I've also spoken about elephants. You know that the best gardener in the forest is the animal, specifically elephant, meaning that if we do not protect, for example, our animals, our gardens and our forests can be uh, threatened seriously. Secondly, Mozambique hosts the most extensive uh, Miom forest, which is the 
largest ecosystemic system in the world and it extends for more than 2,564 kilometers throughout the Zambezi Basin. As a way of protecting the Zambezi Basin that covers eight uh, countries from Southern Africa, last year we have held the regional conference under the late motif towards an integrated and sustainable management of Miombo, towards resilience to climate change and protection of the great Zambezi. Thirdly, in Mozambique, the disaster risk management is governed by law, whereby it sets forth an integrated disaster risk management reduction, sustainable recovery of uh, human resiliency, as well as infrastructural resiliency, ecosystemic resiliency, and climate change adaptation. I would like to emphasize that for example, for each construction work that uh, occurs in Mozambique, they have to comply with the law in order to be considered as resilient construction works. Fourth, we have created disaster risk insurance in order to cater for situations of, disa of natural disasters and support of vulnerable groups. One of the efforts towards disaster risk management and reduction is by engaging local communities have as also referred but we are also we are also prioritizing conservation agriculture this is uh, relevant in our strategy towards food security and we promote the preservation of soils uh, soil quality the preservation of water resources the prevention of uh, wildfires that led to the to the deforestation and adverse effects from climate change moreover the management of biomass energy considering that our rural communities greatly rely on firewood so we have been expanding rural electrification based on our national grid from the Kaborabasa dam and uh, solar grids within the initiative energy for all besides uh, expanding the Kaborabasa dam that serves up some of the countries in southern Africa we are also uh, prioritizing some hydroelectric projects such as Pandankua as well as the Ntemani gas uh, plant and Temani will have around 400 megawatts will be the major one uh, eight we have the territorial planning project through the territorial development and spatial planning and this occurs because very often we see that people just uh, build unregularly and if we do not plan how we are going to build our urban spaces spaces we can uh, lead or contribute towards uh, erosion another aspect has to do with institutional and legal reforms based on the protection of biodiversity including the reactivation of the main fines and meaning that we have severed uh, fines and uh, penalties against poaching related to poaching as well as illegal uh, logging as a result of these institutional and legal reforms Mozambique has been uh, considered in the uh, carbon credits and Mozambique is the first African country to receive payments from the World Bank related to carbon trade by strengthening the early warning system we have uh, implemented the program one district one weather center we, I'm just emphasizing what we're doing as a country because we secretly suffer from um, adverse weather effects so we have decided to strengthen our early warning systems so that communities are ready when those disasters strike us this year we have also inaugurated the bearer meteorology radar radar in the central part of our country in order to detect cyclones in a radius of 400 kilometers and we are planning on setting up two additional radars in the northern and southern part of the country hence we will be covering the whole country 
We also adopted the Maputo Declaration regarding the integrated early warning system that fits into the national operational and strategic uh, goals. We would also like to share that Mozambique also hosts the humanitarian, uh, humanitarian, the Sadek Humanitarian Operation Center, which is a center aiming at protection and prevention. Mozambique has an extensive coastline of around 2,700 kilometers, meaning that we should give special attention to the ocean as the regulator of temperature and climate in the planet. We have ratified the Maripol Convention of 1978 regarding sea, sea pollution that also complements the national legislation regarding illegal fishing and the protection of marine diversity. Meaning that if we do not protect our biodiversity, we are going to um, contribute towards negative impact and negative impact of the environment, especially the oceans. Your Excellency, before I conclude, uh, Your Excellency uh, Ruto, I would like to show my appreciation for this initiative, and we also uh, would like to exhort all the leaders here to subscribe, subscribe as a single voice the Nairobi Declaration regarding climate change, and we shall we have a collective action towards it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. A round of applause again for President Nusi. Let me now take this opportunity to give the floor to President Nana Akufo-Addo.